So the, the mental concept of sound between orchestral playing and solo playing, I wouldn't like to define it so clearly as that. I think one's mental approach to sound depends on the piece you're playing and the composer you're, you're playing. So sometimes, let's say, if you're, playing, if you're playing the T-Bone Concerto in the first and the third movement, your concept of sound is not going to be much different to when you're playing, you know, a Mahler symphony, you know? Um, if you're playing other lighter, ballady type things, then you're going to think about the sound being more, more compact. Um, the most important um, part of our equipment is our imagination. And I think we have to try and understand our role in whatever piece we're playing. And yeah, sometimes I'll put the air through differently, more sideways. If I'm, you know, so I'll just slow the airflow down and put it more sideways if I'm in an orchestra to get a softer sound. And when I'm playing solos, sometimes I'll get it absolutely like an iron rod going straight through because I need to penetrate through, you know, a wind band accompaniment or, or I need to really project through and also to make it less tiring. So I think to delineate like that is quite, di quite difficult. We have to have a concept in our head of the sound that we want because, as I said, our imagination is the most powerful thing.